you may have noticed some chaos on Stadium Way. While crews were working on new crosswalks, our reporter Cooper Morgan tells us why the project will now see some delays. Chances are, if you've passed through the WSU campus in the past month, you may have noticed some lane closures and construction crews working. That work includes the crosswalk construction project on Stadium Way, which will now last until late October, according to project manager Cindy Arbor. We've we pushed it out a little bit. There were a few changes that happened during construction, a few unknowns. Um, we realized there was a sewer line where we were trying to put one of our sign poles and things like that have happened so it's pushed out now to about the end of October so when we'll finish it up. Facility services personnel looked at the four crosswalks between Spokane Street and College Ave after the demolition of the Troy Wigner Bridge in 2022, bringing in an engineer to look at how students could cross the street with better visibility and make pedestrians easier to spot for drivers. Arbor says that the project involves putting in better technology with updated signage and bright flashers. Now, when pedestrians cross the street, they'll have to do so at a 45 degree angle, something that Arbor says is for the safety of both drivers and pedestrians. This piece of engineering ended up delaying the start of the project past summer and into August. The cost came in way too high. It was more than the funding that we had available. After reducing the scope, facility services began the project on August 29th with some Pullman residents responding on Facebook to the start date. Why wait till after students came back to do this, says one user. This should have been rescheduled to next summer, says another. Arbor says that facility services is trying to get ahead instead of waiting, however. It's the near misses that were making us a little bit nervous and saying, eh, we need to take a look at this and see if there's improvements that we can make before any pedestrian gets injured. Reporting from Pullman, I'm Cooper Morgan.